First, inspect the mounting bolts. If any mounting bolts are missing, the vehicle must immediately be placed out of service per DOT regulations until replaced. Furthermore, check to ensure that all mounting bolts are tightened to the appropriate torque value. When using Premier bolts, please note the specification for a wet torque lubricated with 30 weight oil. The next step is to check the tailboard for any cracks or damage to the tailboard itself or the support structure, including the welded gussets. If cracks or damage are visible, the vehicle must be taken out of service until repaired. Inspect the latch components for any damage, which includes bending, cracking, or warping. If the latch is damaged or ineffective, the vehicle must be placed out of service until replaced. Now look at the horn section. Begin with the webbing on the hitch to ensure that area did not meet any undue forces that may have caused damage. Next, inspect the crotch section of the horn, which experiences the most wear. If there are any cracks or deformities present, the coupling should be taken out of service immediately. The final thing to visually inspect is the presence of any welding. Due to the specific heat treatment of all coupling components, the presence of welds anywhere on the coupling or drawbar eye results in an immediate out-of-service violation. All latch components are spring-loaded and should move freely and firmly. You can inspect them both audibly and by feel. In a quiet environment, you will hear a firm snap when the components lock up. The two main components are the latch lock and the latch itself. Test both to ensure they move freely and close with authority. These are signs of a strong spring. Occasionally, you may notice weak or gritty movement, which can be caused by a few things. Either the springs are worn out, or there is corrosion within the pivot points. Premier's extended life model with greasable pins prevents the majority of that corrosion. However, if you are working with a non-EL model, disassemble the latch and look for the corrosion in the pivot points. If any is found, Premier recommends rebuilding the entire latch system. The same recommendation applies to any weak spring closing. In that event, Premier suggests a full rebuild at the top end of the hitch. Some models will be plumbed with air to take advantage of Premier's slack-reducing system. Inspect the 279 shoe. Upon release of the emergency brakes, the shoe should engage with authority. When the emergency brakes are applied, it should recede with authority. If any binding slow movements are present, or if there is a lack of operation on a model equipped with air, diagnose the issue from the air chamber forward. To conduct a proper wear inspection, utilize the Premier Wear Gauge set. Each model documentation will instruct which wear gauge is appropriate. For the 2200, use the 14014 2 and 1 8 inch gauge. On every coupling, the latch gap gauge must also be utilized. The wear gauge indicates the range of acceptable and unacceptable wear. Once a coupling reaches the yellow 18% wear indicator, it is recommended that a new hitch be ordered. Once a coupling reaches the red 20% wear indicator, it must be taken out of service immediately before the trailer is put back on the road. It is important to note that Premier wear gauges must only be used on Premier brand products, as no other hitch or eye currently meets the DOT standard of 20% allowable wear. All other brands allow 1 8 inch of wear, or roughly 6%. Failure to adhere to this rule will result in more than tripling the lifespan of the hitch or eye, which will exponentially increase the chances of a catastrophic failure. The latch gap gauge ensures Premier latches are within spec. If the gauge does not pass through the gap, the coupling can remain in service. To perform routine maintenance, grease the pivot points via the Zerk fittings. Premier recommends applying a high-quality grease at intervals of 90 days or sooner for optimum performance. After application, cycle both latch and latch lock several times to distribute the grease. For standard models, utilize only dry lube on moving components. Never grease the external surface of the hitch. It can attract debris that turns into a pumice, creating additional wear. It may also obscure the appearance of cracks or flaws in the horn or eye.